<laughs> Justin Hamilton here for BankSATalkFringe.com with comedian, writer Adam Rosenbachs, who's only in town for the weekend doing a few shows around the place. Yep, just here for the late night shows, man. And it suits my uh, comedy stylings very well. It means I don't have to get up early. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, Mike Wilmot's got a show on at 7.30 and he's freaking out. He'd have to. He'd be having breakfast during the show, wouldn't he? Yeah. 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 Halfway through, a croissant turns up. <laughs> so, uh, so what happened to you over the weekend? All right. Well, I'm very lucky to be here in Adelaide, and not just for you people in Adelaide, obviously. But uh, last weekend, I went to a party. Now you know that I'm allergic to peanuts. Yeah. I had an anaphylactic reaction to nuts last weekend. I did. I ended up in hospital. What, uh, what did it, you have? I'd eaten. Uh, I think it was calamari. And it had like peanut oil in it, which is always oh, the hidden, the hidden killer, yeah. the big one. Forget your suntans. Forget your cigarette. It's peanut oil. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so I'm walking down the street. I left this party that I was at. I didn't want to interrupt the speeches. And so I'm walking down the street. I thought I'll get a cab to the uh, hospital. You, you, so you know what's happening at this oh, point? Oh yeah. Like my throat had swollen up. My eyes were all puffy. Yeah. I kind of looked, and I didn't look very good. And there were single girls there, and I just didn't. I didn't yeah. think I was going to, you know, pick up with puffy eyes and <laughs> the inability to breathe. Um, Dying is one thing. But. Yeah. So I walked down the street, couldn't find a camera, thought, I've actually got to call an ambulance now. So I call the ambulance, I'm lying in the street, and all these people are walking past me. So it's a Saturday night, it's about 35 degrees. I can't talk, I can't swallow, so I'm just spitting. So what do I look like? I look like I'm pissed. Yeah. yeah. So nobody wants to help me, right? So I wait 12 minutes for the ambulance. 12 minutes? 12 minutes it took to come. They take me to the hospital, and so they, they give me the back, they stabilise me. So I'm, I realise at this point, I'm probably not going to die. I'm still touch and go. Right. So we're going along, and then you know when you're in the ambulance and you can't, well, I don't know if you've been in an ambulance, but we're driving along, and it kind of, we stop at the lights, and you go, okay, you know, and then you go, hang on, I'm in an ambulance. Why are you stopping at the lights? <laughs> I want a bit of woo-woo, I want some action here. <laughs> Let's get me to hospital. So anyway, we go to hospital, they settle me down. So they've got to keep me in their observation for about four hours. I'm in there, after about two hours, I know I'm going to be fine. And they said, well, you can't leave, we need to keep you in here. I'm like, that's fine. So then I got bored. I didn't have any phone reception in there. I was like, what am I going to do? So I'm hooked up to all the ECG, the pulse, the blood pressure. And I thought, I wonder what'll happen if I hold my breath. <laughs> so I hold my breath and I'm watching the screen and the, uh, I see all the vital signs start to drop, right? And they get really low and then it just goes, beep, flat line. And then the alarms just start going off and I'm like, oh shit. Oh dude, this what happened? So then everyone comes running in from everywhere thinking, you know, we've got, we've got someone who's died on our hands. And then they're all like, what, what happened? What happened? And I just play it like a little kid. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> so they're probably throwing out that, spent another $40,000 on the next machine. Yeah. I'm lucky they didn't come in with the defibs. This is yeah, clear. Exactly. That was sort of the, the first thing I was thinking. You could, yeah. have, you could have actually been fried calamari. Well, that's the thing. And one of the probably they go, well, the first reaction to anyone who's flatlining is to say, no, I'm fine. I'll just hold my own breath. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're all right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm fine now. Just uh, don't feed me peanuts unless you hate my show. Then, <laughs> then nut on. And then it's on. Yeah. Uh, and, and stay away from any amorous elephants who may have had a treat before they want to have a kiss. That's a really good point. That's a really I'll good take it on board. Point. I won't go to the Adelaide Zoo. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, check out Adam Rosenbachs. He's at the Rhino Room uh, doing the late show there. You're down at yes. the Gov on Friday night. Yes, that's right. And uh, you're doing, with you? Uh, you're doing my late show on Saturday night. At Gluttony, 11.45. then, but I just put him into it. Yeah, yeah I, I wasn't going to have him, but he's, <laughs> he's taught me into it. He, he nearly died, so I've got to have him on. Come down and check out Adam Rosenbach's here at the Adelaide Fringe.